Hello, friends. Hope all is well on your side of the world or in your house. All is well here at McWayne. Usually during spring break, we have some adventures or misadventures from two of our favorite science geeks, Mac and Wayne. Well, we still wanna share these adventures with you, so we have a couple of episodes for you. So welcome to the smaller version of the adventures of Mac and Wayne. Howdy viewers, I'm JC McKenzie of the McWain Science Center, and this is my time-traveling science partner from the 1990s, CJ Wayne. We're getting ready to... Wayne, what on earth are you doing with that thing? Trying to find a rad science experiment on the information superhighway. Just looking up one right now on Yahoo. Yeah, how's that uh, working out? Buffering. Buffering. S still, still buffering. Yeah, I found one. Okay. <laughs> You know what? Are you ready for an experiment, Wayne? Pluto will always be a planet, and I am always ready for experiments. Okay then, uh, grab that there too. I've got a special instrument here for us. It's made out of some PVC pipe, a little bit of balloon, and a canister that was used to hold the 35 millimeter film that used to be used in cameras. Y used to? Tell you what, put the straw on the side there and then blow air through it. Ha! Excellent! Yeah. You see, wait, sounds are made by vibrations, by things uh, 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 vibrating. When you blow air through the tube, it makes the balloon vibrate and we get sound. You think I can do it? Do you? Do you? Do you? I don't know, we'll have to find out. Let me try. Can we tune in? Uh. Nope, a little more tuning. <laughs> Bogus. How come yours sounds different? Let's observe, Wayne. Oh, yours is longer. Uh, yes. Here's the thing about sound. First, it travels in a wave. Now, secondly, what kind of sound you get. The pitch of the sound depends on how long or how short the wave is. Now your pipe is, no, not, not different, different kind of wavelengths. Okay. See, a shorter instrument has a shorter wavelength, and that makes for one of the higher pitch sounds. A longer one has a longer wavelength, and that means a lower pitch sound. Can we try jamming together? All right, hang on a sec. We gotta practice a lot of this. Here it goes, here it goes. And here you are. Excellent. Well, viewers, keep tuning into McWayne.org for more science videos. Keep up the hand washing. Stay safe, and remember to be excellent to one another.